I'm Yuki Washington with your evening digital news brief for Thursday, May 26. Students in parts of the Delaware Valley led protests today to call for gun control measures in the wake of the Texas school shooting. About 100 students walked out of McComb Middle School in Society Hill this afternoon. They walked around the school chanting, no more silence and gun violence. Their protest comes one day after lawmakers in Harrisburg failed to pass four gun control measures. Philadelphia police are trying to unravel a mystery. In southwest Philadelphia, a woman found a teenager's body inside a home last night on the 2300 block of Bailey Terrace. The victim is 16 to 18 years of age. Investigators say there was no blood or shell casings at the scene. Police initially thought the teen had been shot in the chest, but the medical examiner is still working to figure out what caused the chest to have a wound. A dirt bike rider accused of killing a teen skateboarder in a hit and run crash in North Philadelphia has surrendered to police. Prosecutors charged 19 year old Kevin Rubio with homicide by vehicle, involuntary manslaughter, and other crimes. Police say Rubio was doing wheelies when he struck 17 year old Jesus Gomez Rosario. It happened at Allegheny Avenue and Front Street on the 15th of May. Part of the Atlantic City Boardwalk will be reconstructed this fall thanks in part to a federal grant. The U.S. Economic Development Authority has awarded the city $6 million. The mayor's office says the city plans to replace a section of the boardwalk that's more than 100 years old. The project is estimated to cost $60 million. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here at CBSPhilly.com. That is the latest for the Evening Digital Brief. I'm Yuki Washington.